Welcome back to the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. Of course, we have brought you a ton of news today, and we are now over in the Nissan booth now. I've got three fun pieces of news for you, and of course, me being an off-road enthusiast, I was walking through the show floor today, and I stopped at this vehicle right here. This is actually a Frontier that was launched at the SEMA show just before Christmas, and this is a desert racer. So you can see it has Fox Racing shocks, big massive suspension on it. This thing is meant to go out off-roading. So whether you're doing the Baja 1000 or just want to go out for a nice little stroll, this is a great off-road truck for you to take a look at. Not to mention, I love that, that like Navy shipyard gray. It's a cool look on the exterior. All right, so we got some bigger news here, of course, at the Nissan booth. That's why I brought you by today. All right, the Frontier has been a stable mate for the Nissan brand for years and years and years. I've got a special guest with me. Before I get to him, this right here, this isn't the newest version of a Nissan Frontier. This one is actually a Nissan Frontier that has a million miles on it under the same 2.5 liter motor, which will be the news we'll talk about in a minute. All right, partner, this, from what I understand, is your vehicle and you're the owner. I am the owner. I uh, bought it brand new in 2007. Uh, it still has the original engine and original transmission. I drive it all day, every day. I work for a delivery service and uh, it's been great. And, and so you are the original owner, you bought this thing. How in the world did you get a million miles on it? Well, I, I like I say, I drive it all day, every day for work, and uh, it's uh, been unbelievably durable, and uh, just work every day, and all of a sudden here we are at a million miles. All right, so last night I was at the press conference, and I heard there was a, a little special news for you on this vehicle. Sounds like you might be upgrading. I, I am upgrading. Uh, Nissan was... Uh, uh, wonderful enough to give me a brand new truck since I put the million miles on this one and uh, the new truck will have the new V6 and a nine speed automatic transmission. I, I th don't we want to get to two million miles? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, uh, this truck has been great, but uh, nothing lasts forever and uh, it's starting to get a little tired, so yeah. I am uh, ready to change. All right, so for everybody that's watching out there in the social world right now, tell them your name and tell your wh where you're from and tell them what you do. I am Brian Murphy. I uh, am from Illinois. I've always lived in Illinois, various towns, and I drive uh, for a delivery service, quick delivery, and uh, yeah. Well, congratulations on your new Frontier. Thank you. Speaking of the Frontier, of course, we've got big news here at the Chicago Auto Show. We were at the press conference last night taking a little bit uh, closer look at the news for Nissan. One of the things that Mr. Murphy said about his current Frontier is that he wanted a bigger motor. Well, the one on the existing was a 2.5 liter motor. They've upgraded it this year to a 3.8 liter V6 motor. There's only one person who's going to tell us about it, and that's the head of their truck division, that's Tiago. By the way, Tiago had to sprint, man. He was he was on the other side of the show floor doing what he does. Right here, not right. He's like, I'm going to get over there. So, all right, man, big news on the motor. Everything around a car is based on a motor, and this is it. So 3.8 liter, tell us all about why you decided to upgrade this motor. Horsepower, give us all the specs. So this is a best-in-class 310 horsepower new engine. We redesigned the V6 engine. 93% of the components are all new. It delivers 49 more horsepower. It also delivers a 9% improvement in fuel economy, which is amazing. This 3.8 V6 is actually together with a new nine-speed transmission, so four more than the current transmission, so automatic transmission. So it's a really great powertrain, and I can't wait for you guys to drive it. So I want to put this into perspective, you guys. I want to put this into perspective. 3.8 liter V6 putting out how much horsepower? 310. Yeah. 310 horsepower. Now, weight of this vehicle, incredibly light. So when you take 300 plus horsepower, when you get this thing souped up and ready to go, you take it off road, it's going to be fast. I've got a feeling best in class. Best in class, standard horsepower, 310. And what you said is completely right. Not only it's fast, but it's also fun to drive. And the new transmission with nine speeds make it so smooth. So it's a lot of fun to drive. So let's talk about that for a minute. Nine speed transmission, that now makes me think of towing. It does tow well. We haven't announced yet the towing. We we're doing all final confirmations, but it will be good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I love the exterior design of this well. You know, it's always one of those things, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the exterior design of the Frontier is great. You're going to go up against who in this category? It's a mid-size pickup competitor. So there's a lot of competitors out there from uh, Toyota Tacoma, you see Chevy Colorado's, all the other mid-size pickups. Yeah. 
I, I love what you've done with this 3.8 liter now. Will we see this motor transfer over into some of your other trucks or other vehicles within the lineup? We'll see that in the future. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are here at the Chicago Auto Show. So much news, of course. We're here in the Nissan booth. I just want to, I've got a few minutes, so I'm going to peek you guys over my shoulder. <clears throat> 50th anniversary right there. GTR fire breathing dragon fast as they come in the auto industry of course for me it's really all about that Baja frontier something you get to pound around off-road especially if you're out there in California you get to do a little desert racing with that all right we got more press conferences gonna round out the day here but appreciate you guys joining us at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show